I will have the tower searched, top to bottom. You cannot do that. You have no right. I have every right. You are harboring blood mages, and I intend to root them out before they infect this city. Blood magic? Where do you not see blood magic? My people cannot sneeze without you accusing them of corruption. Do not trifle with me, mage. My patience is at an end. A wonder that I never saw it begin. This needs to stop. Well, look who decided to show up. This does not involve you, champion. I called her here. I think the people deserve to know just what you've done. What I have done is protect the people of this city time and again. What I have done is protect you mages from your curse and your own stupidity. And I will not stop doing it. I will not lower our guard. I dare not. Is there any truth to what she's saying? These are only her latest accusations, nothing more. And what if she does not find what she's looking for? How much further will she go to root out something that isn't there? The champion knows better than anyone how deep the Circle's corruption goes. I must find the source. You both set quite the example for your people, you know that? What other option do we have? Tell me, champion, that you have not seen with your own eyes what they can do. Heard the lies of mages that seek power. Some of us want exactly what you want, Meredith. We're not the enemy. You would cast us all as villains, but it is not so. I know, and it breaks my heart to do it. But we must be vigilant. If you cannot tell me another way, do not brand me a tyrant. This is getting us nowhere. Grand Cleric Athena will put a stop to this. You will not bring her grace into this. The Grand Cleric cannot help you. Explain yourself, mage. I will not stand by and watch you treat all mages like criminals. While those who would lead us bow to their Templar jailers. How dare you speak to the me? The Circle has failed us, Orsino. Even you should be able to see that. The time has come to act. There can be no half measures. Anders, what have you done? There can be no turning back. Blessed be the souls of the faithful that they ascend to your right hand. Why did you come back? For this? I removed the chance of compromise. Because there is no compromise. The Grand Cleric has been slain by magic. The Chantry destroyed. As Knight Commander of Kirkwall, I hereby invoke the right of annulment. Every mage in the circle is to be executed. Immediately! The circle didn't even do this! Champion, you can't let her! Help us stop this madness! And I demand you stand with us. Even you must see that this outrage cannot be tolerated. Why are we debating the right of annulment when the monster who did this is right here? I swear to you, I will kill him. It can't be stopped now. You have to choose. Do you realize what you've started here? I do. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you earlier. The Circle is an injustice. In many places beyond Kirkwall. The world needs to see. Elthina is not the Circle. She was a good woman, and you murdered her! 
You fool! You've doomed us all! We were already doomed. A quick death now or a slow one later. I'd rather die fighting. You're a murderer. The Grand Cleric, the mages, their blood is on your hands. I know. It doesn't matter. Even if I wished to, I could not stay my hand. The people will demand blood. I guess you've got yourself a champion. Your first act must be to execute this traitor. I knew you would see reason. You can't side with her. Please. I can't support this. It's unfortunate. But it's the only way. The mages cannot hide behind their rights when they endanger so many. Champion, you have to know Meredith will turn against you as well. Sorry, but you're on your own. Very wise. Are you sure about this? You know she's going to murder people whose only crime was being born a mage. And has condemned the Circle already. The Grand Cleric was beloved by the entire city. Either the Templars annul the Circle, or the citizens of Kirkwall will riot and murder the mages themselves. All we can do now is try to keep casualties to a minimum. I suppose... you're right. This decision was taken out of our hands. Stop them! I will warn the others! Gather our forces! We will deal with this. So, it begins. I must gather my forces at the gallows. Meet me there as soon as you can, champion. I'll leave this murderer for you to deal with. He's your companion. Do as you see fit. There's nothing you can say that I haven't already said to myself. I took a spirit into my soul and changed myself forever to achieve this. This is the justice all mages have awaited. Did that spirit tell you to do this? No. When we merged, he ceased to be. We are one now. I can no more ignore the injustice of the Circle than he could. So you start a massacre to prove a point? I'm not proving a point. I'm changing a world. You've never been part of the Circle. I have. The people fear what we can do. But to use that fear to bludgeon us into submission is wrong. And they do it with our blessing. And if I pay for that with my life, then I pay. Perhaps then justice would at least be free. You have to pay for what you've done. I know. The sooner I die, the sooner my name lives on to inspire generations. It will never be enough, but it's a start. We'd all best get to the gallows, and quick. It's going to be quite a show. Take the risk. Keep away from me. 
to fight you and here you are let us speak Meredith before this battle destroys the city you claim to protect I will entertain a surrender nothing more speak if you have something to say revoke the right of annulment Meredith before this goes too far imprison us if you must Search the tower. I will even help you. But do not kill us all for an act we did not commit. The Grand Cleric is dead, killed by a mage. The people will demand retribution, and I will give it to them. Your offer is commendable, Orsino, but it comes too late. I was kind of hoping for a happy ending. That seems unlikely. So what is it to be, Meredith? Do we fight here? Go. Prepare your people. The rest of the Order is already crossing the harbor. This isn't over. what is about to happen. We have the unenviable task of entering the gallows and eliminating every mage we find within. You must harden your heart. The magic within them is a disease that if left unchecked will spread and fester. We will do what we must. Make her have mercy on their souls.
Prepare for the attack. Let me know when you are ready, champion. They did this. They blew up the Chantry. I assume you are ready, champion? What will you do once the mages are dead? This is not the first time the right of annulment has ever been invoked. We will do as others have done before us. Start again. Kirkwall will be rebuilt, stronger than before. And the Circle will know fear. This has been a long time coming. I am eager to begin. To slaughter the entire Circle? Oh, sure. Good. You will need to give orders to your companions. Do that and the attack may begin. I'm at your service, Hook. Where do you want me? Sebastian, I need you somewhere with a good vantage. Cover us while we move in. May the Maker favor us now. Varg, stay out of sight. And use your crossbow. Bianca's ready and willing. Carver, watch and keep us from being overwhelmed. Got it. I'm no Templar. I'm not sure every step leads me closer to the Maker. But I know trouble. And this is it. I can't say for certain that going in there is right. But I know it's needed right now. When home is on the line, maybe that's enough. Champion, the attack is about to begin. Thank you. Do whatever you want with us, but let us live! No! This circle is beyond redemption. Knight Commander, surely the right of annulment requires something more... It requires my word, Cullen. Do as I've commanded. Champion! Will you not defend us? Must we all be slaughtered for the actions of a few? I want to hear what the Knight Captain has to say. I... The right has always been a last resort. 
when every mage involved was beyond salvation. The situation was far more dire in Ferelden's circle, and yet many mages were saved. We could still do as much here. Objection noted, Captain. Maybe they can answer some questions. I, I think the first enchanter is still in the tower. He said he had a plan, something that would stop you. Demons, or something worse? I don't know. We wanted nothing to do with it, so we ran. Please, help us. We've done nothing wrong. They've already surrendered. Killing them now is just petty. Listen to the champion. Just as I suspected all along. Willing sacrifices! Men and women who would have died at your hands anyhow. <laughs> the irony is that until this very moment I have never used blood magic. Do you take me for a fool? One does not summon such a ritual from thin air. The right belonged to Quentin, a man the champion is familiar with. I put aside his research as too dangerous. But things have changed. 
You were working with that murderer. I knew about him. I kept his existence secret because I didn't want to give Meredith more ammunition against us. I see now I needn't have bothered. The Maker has guided us here to end your evil, Orsino. The Maker has guided you all to your deaths! Make sure the keep is secure. Meet me in the courtyard, champion. What a waste.
at all this. Magic is a cancer in the heart of our land, just as it was in the time of Andraste. And like her, we are left with no choice but to purify it with fire and blood. And me? Have you forgotten I use magic as well? I have not. I am beginning to wonder just how large your part in all this actually was. An apostate come into our city, gathering power and influence. A sudden hero of the people. How can I trust that the mighty champion of Kirkwall is not a worse threat to this city than the Circle? Is helping you destroy the Circle not proof enough? Proof of what? Your lies. Proof that you are more clever even than Orsino. The people of Kirkwall will mourn your loss, but I will tell them you died battling the mages. A righteous cause. Knight Commander, I thought we intended to arrest the Champion. You will do as I command, Cullen. No. I defended you when Thrask started whispering you were mad, but this is too far. I will not allow insubordination. We must stay true to our path. You recognize it, do you not? Your lyrium, taken from the deep roads. The dwarf charged a great deal for his prize. The idol poisoned Bartran's mind in the end. He was weak, whereas I am not. All of you! I want her dead! Enough! This is not what the Order stands for. Knight Commander, step down. I relieve you of your command. My own Knight Captain falls prey to the influence of blood magic. You all have. You're all weak. Allowing the mages to control your minds, to turn you against me. But I don't need any of you. I will protect this city myself. You'll have to go through me. And me. Traitors! I'll have both your heads! Blessed are those who stand before the corrupt and the wicked, and do not falter!
Not enough that they make innocent suffer. No, we must also have insult added to injury. Spare the mages, give them freedom, and they would use it to tear down everything we hold dear. No, no, it cannot be allowed. I will stop it. Do you hear me, champion? I will defeat you. Slaughter spread quickly. The champion's name became a rallying cry for all mages. 
a reminder of their brutal oppression. She had shown not only what the Templars were willing to do, but that they could be defied. The circles rose up and set the world on fire. <laughs> Here at home, the city all but got down on its hands and knees and begged the champion to rule. As for the rest of us, eventually we all left the champion's side for one reason or another. Well, all of us except for Meryl. You still hear the stories, of course. With each telling they grow, even if... At the core remains the truth. The legend had been born. So that's it. That's the whole story. Then Meredith turned on the champion. She was to blame. Or that damned idol was. Or Anders. Take your pick. Even so, had the champion not been there, then I suppose Meredith would be ruling the city still. But the champion is not in Kirkwall any longer. So I hear. Isn't it strange how quickly fortunes change? I see. So how is hearing all this going to help? You've already lost all the circles. In fact, haven't the Templars rebelled as well? I thought you decided to abandon the Chantry to hunt the mages. Not all of us desire war, Varric. Please, if you know where the champion is, you must tell me. She is a hero. A woman that the Templars respect. Someone who was there at the beginning. The champion could stop this madness before it's too late. She may be the only one who can. Is that what this is all about? In that case, I wish I could help you. Just tell me one thing, then. Is the champion dead? Though, I doubt that. Then you are free to go, Varric. May the Maker watch over you during the dark times ahead of us. Same to you, Seeker. Same to you. So, did you... Gone. Just like the Warden. That is no coincidence. So, do we proceed with the original plan? Or keep looking? It is in the Maker's hands now. We put our faith in him.